Hi, I'm Heidi from StoneGnome.com. I hope you will join me for a little cow and make an infinity scarf for me. The stitch pattern presented in this video is based on two other patterns, the basic stitch pattern and little flames. You can learn more about these from the previous videos of this cow. This is a stitch pattern we worked on last week, the little flames. I think it's possible to make a lot of different stitch patterns using the chains and the waistcoat stitches as we do here. I'm working on some, on some new designs where I'm using this stitch pattern as well as others that are pretty similar. In this one we have the flames here, here and here. And they kind of share a line of waistcoat stitches. So today we're going to modify this uh, slightly. We did this part of the scarf last time and we also did the middle of the scarf, which were several rounds of the basic stitch pattern. And then today we will work on a new stitch pattern. This is also a flame pattern, but here the flames are separated with a little bit of space here that I call a shadow. So that's why I'm calling this pattern Shadowed Flames. And I will show you how to do this. We worked a couple of rows with the basic stitch pattern here, the one that we keep using and we have used throughout the other videos as well. So I'll just finalize that by making the first stitch of this new round here. Here we want to make a flame here between these two waistcoat stitches and on each side we need to make a space. And the space is simply a chain. After the second space here, we want to push these two stitches together and therefore we will remove the chain that we had between them. This gives us a repeat of eight stitches and this is the repeat that we, um, this is the eight stitches that we will repeat throughout this pattern here. So first a space that's a chain and a waistcoat stitch. Then the flame here and that's two chains and a waistcoat stitch. Now we're adding another space here making a chain and the waistcoat stitch. And then we don't want a space here so we are removing this uh, chain here by simply not making one and immediately inserting the hook into the next waistcoat stitch which is also the first stitch of this stitch pattern. I'll add a stitch marker here and I'll suggest that you do the same and you can keep doing that forever repeat all the way around if you have enough stitch markers. Um, yeah, if you have enough stitch markers, you can let them stay, or you can just move them along so you always know where your repeats start and, and end. I'll show you once more what a repeat looks like. We did the first stitch here already, that's a waistcoat stitch, and then we will make a space by making a chain. A waistcoat stitch. Here we want a flame, so I'll make two chains and a waistcoat stitch. Then another space here by making a chain and waistcoat stitch. 
Now doing the new, uh, doing the repeat once more. So no space between these two. Just immediately making a waistcoat stitch here and pushing the stitches together a little bit. I'll add a stitch marker here as well. So I'll keep doing this throughout this round. I have reached the end of the first round here. And lucky me, my stitch count was divisible by eight, meaning I was able to do a whole number of repeats. We're already halfway through the scarf now, so if your stitch count is off here, it's, it would be a shame to frog everything. If you have four stitches here and not eight, maybe you could make the little flames stitch pattern, the first one we did in the previous video. And you can just skip the spaces here, just next to where the flames are. If not, maybe you can continue doing the basic stitch pattern all the way up. Of course, this part of the scarf will not look like the rest if you do it in a different way. But the most important thing is to not ruin the whole scarf and make this part blend in as much as possible. So now I'll do the second round of this uh, new stitch pattern and that will be exactly the same like the previous one. I will have one, one chain uh, between the first two waistcoat stitches, then two chains, one chain and no chain. And this, uh, this line will be repeated once more, so we will have three uh, rounds like this all together. Here I have my three rounds of the new flame stitch pattern, the shadowed flames here. Now I'm ready to do a basic stitch pattern. That's a waistcoat stitch, a chain, waistcoat stitch, chain, just one chain here, and so on. Exactly like when we did the flame stitch pattern. I will just make one round of this basic stitch pattern. And then we'll proceed with the second half of this shadowed flame stitch pattern. One chain, pushing these together a little bit. And one chain. And one chain here where there were none before. So, doing this throughout this round. Now we are ready for the second half of this shadowed flame stitch pattern. Here is the flame we had before and now we want to close that one by having no chain between these two waistcoat stitches. Over here we started to open uh, and here we'll make room for a new flame. And then there are the spaces here just next to the flames we'll just leave them as they are. So, the first stitch in the round here is a waistcoat stitch, then a space, a single chain, and then we'll close this flame by removing the chain that we had previously, Do not make a chain now. There's another space here, so that's a chain. And then we'll make the new flame here, right before the end of this uh, pattern repeat. So I'll make two chains here. And 
And this is also the first stitch of the pattern repeat. So here it goes again. A space here, that's one chain. No chain here, we want to close the gap here. A space here, making one chain. And a new flame here, making two chains. And we'll do this for three rounds, just with the first, just as we did with the first part of this flame stitch pattern. And while we do this, the pattern will start to show. It's not very visible until now, and that's perfectly normal. But it will start showing when we do the next three rounds. Now I've done three rounds of the flame stitch pattern here, the second half of it. Uh, here is a flame and here they are close together. And now I'll just do the final round of this uh, shadowed flame pattern. And that's a basic stitch pattern once more. So that was the first stitch in the round in a chain. A waistcoat stitch and so on. Keep alternating between a chain and a waistcoat stitch. And when I've done that for the whole round then it's actually back to the first part. This is where we did a space and then started a flame, did a space and removed the chain between the last two stitches. So we keep working on the first part of the flame and the second part afterwards. And then we have the new Shadowed Flames stitch pattern. Keep working on this new stitch pattern until it's almost 10 cm wide or 4 inch. It's just the same as when you did the first cable-like stitch pattern. And whenever you have a round of the basic stitch pattern, then you can continue with that for more rounds until you have the desired width of your scarf. Next week we will do the border here at the top of the scarf. And if you for some reason didn't do the border in the beginning of the scarf down here, you can actually use the same technique in the, as we use here in the end. Uh, you can use that for the beginning of the scarf too. So next week I will show you the last part of the scarf, the boulder. Don't hurry with the shadowed flames. It is alright if you are not completely ready for the border in a week. The border itself will not take long to make, so using another week to get there is okay. As usual, I'll also make a blog post and I will include the written pattern for the shadowed flames. If you need help, please join us in my Facebook group called Stone Gnome Crochet. Help me sharing this video with other crochet lovers. Click the share button below. Thank you for watching.